and welcome to this week's episode of the Pearl Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. <laughs> As I was strolling down the lane, I thought to myself, oh no, not again. This really does have to stop. This got my whole life on the hop. But then I thought, oh, hold on now. Things could be worse. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Then a brainwave hit me and I thought, well, really, only truthfully, it's really your fault. Your fault? Your fault, I say to myself. Hold on. You're 54 and on the shelf. What sort of life have you been leading? To have this happen and nothing proceeding. An actor's life is down to the individual to see how to get from A to B. But when you arrive, what do you do? You keep on moving through and through. If you don't, it ends in disaster. But you're the king. I am the master. Master, master is what I am. Doing now what I can. The land of poetry persists on and on. I could go on, but it would be wrong. <laughs> oh, yes. Had an audition for a poetry uh, reading this week. About three days ago, looking forward to doing that uh, for a school. Uh, well, it could be fun. <laughs> anyway, got an audition coming up for a BBC TV series in a few days' time. Know the director quite well. He gave me some tips on what to do to move the thing forward. A lot of energy, a lot of <laughs> energy is what he said he wants. Blunderbust! Blunderbust is what I say. So how do we do it? Do we have a fight with ourselves? <laughs> oh no! We don't do that. Anything. And collected! 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 It's what we do. Anyway, we shall see what happens. That's it for this week's episode of The Pearl Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Bye-bye.